reluctant to advance our planned national, uh, national strike. The meeting is presided over by Senate President Senator Augusto de Fabio, uh, the House of uh, Representatives, as our Speaker, Tajuddin Abbas, and principal officers from both chambers. The meeting is led by the SGF Secretary George Akume, NLC President Joe Ajayro, and TUC President Festus Asifo. Akwabio emphasized that uh, lawmakers are not taking on executive or labor roles, citing difficulties in negotiations during a strike. Whatever we come, whatever agreement we come to, will be mutually beneficial to all, uh, the government and the workers. So we are all concerned. We are in the same, we are in, in the same shoe, we are wearing the same shoe. And um, we will be very glad to have something that is workable. But we must also be mindful of collateral damage. I don't want us to, in the course of trying to arrive at a, a minimum wage, we end up with a lot of uh, with uh, serious issues of unemployment because as soon as we arrive at a minimum wage we will expect, expect the private sector to also uh, adhere and then if they are unable to do so the next thing will be the changement of workers and i'm sure some of you recall what i said during the independence anniversary lecture the one thing that this country and this government can do to eliminate corruption in the long run is to embrace living wage. There is no two ways about it. But we should also be mindful that the mistakes of several decades cannot be repaired within one day. It is going to be a gradual process. We have to start somewhere and then agree to a plan of what we can do to reach that level where every Nigerian worker can beat his chest and say, I am earning enough to put food on the table. Now, the Labour Union on their part said that what they are fighting for is living wages for workers. Brothers, your sisters, and everybody, you are constituents. So, and that is why we must all reason together to find a solution to it. It is not for any of the leadership here. It has to do with all Nigerians and the way forward on this. You know, so we are quite committed to finding a way forward, you know, finding a living wage, finding a survival wage, and not starvation wage for Nigerians. Uh, with that, I and my colleagues, we are committed to that. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, things have been really difficult. Uh, in the last one year, that difficulty has even further exacerbated. And that is why this, this year's uh, minimum wage conversation is a bit tough and it's a bit, um, it's a bit uh, difficult because when you are negotiating under a difficult environment, it's always uh, very, very difficult. So this is a special... Um, minimum wage um, negotiations and for us um, it's been um, the last three, four months has been tough and Nigerians are waiting for us uh, to give them a wage that at least could um, assist them in paying transportation to work, could feed them, could house them and clothe them. These are the basic necessities of life, not even a wage to buy a car or a wage to build a house, but to meet the basic necessity of life. So the meeting has however entered into an executive session for them to brainstorm. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.